Hello guys, so in the last video we have discussed around the AWS Lambda cold start problem and then after have seen how we can optimize this cold start timing from the code perspective, right? And in this video, like we will be going to discuss how we can measure this cold start time. So we will be going to uh, like go, go to the AWS Accelerate console and then we'll see how much cold start time it is it is now now it is taking and then after we'll see how we can reduce in, reduce it using the AWS provision concurrency, a method provided by AWS only. Okay, so like I will go to the console. So here I have created an AWS Lambda with name concurrency test. So like it is just with all the basic configuration. So what I will going to do is like I will going to run this function twice. So and will and then after we'll go to the X-ray console. Okay, so uh, my bad. It's a test event. Then after I will save it, then after I test it, so first time execution is done and then after second, second time execution is done. So now I will go to the monitor, uh, okay, sorry, my bad. So before that I think what we need to do is, first we will go to the configuration section and then after I will go to the monitoring and operating tools and edit it and, and then you see like by default this AWS X-ray is disabled so I will going to enable it and then after save it okay so it is done I will go to the code section and just, just make a little change so that like it lambda okay I will going to run it two times again yeah that's it so now if you go to the monitoring view accelerate traces now we have to see the like it will be there will be four obviously four traces as we have run the lambda function four times but what we will be going to like interesting in is last two traces only okay so as of now there is two three okay yeah so sorry there is only two trace the reason being is like before those two trace <coughs> we have not enabled aws x-ray so i will open this first and second in both other tabs so what we need to see in is Okay, so here you see like the complete time taken by your AWS Lambda function is at around 240 millisecond and except like at that time like if you see in, in the invocation section it only takes 1 millisecond and all the time is before invocation. So sort of invocation is started at 220 millisecond right. So the time before invocation is sort of cold start time correct and if you see if i if i if we, if we see the next iteration like an, another test that we have run the invocation is started at kind of at 5 millisecond only right so that is the biggest issue that people are facing in the production like if you see here it is kind of 240 millisecond and here it is only 8 millisecond so the before lambda started to execute your request it takes kind of uh, like 220 millisecond and which is really huge and uh, like as as once the once the invocation occur uh, the aws already have a initialized instance for your lambda function so second time it doesn't initialize your lambda function so what we can do we can tell aws to always run some of the instances for us okay so that AWS called this provision concurrency. So what we can do, we will go to the uh, configuration section and in the configuration we will go to the concurrency and then after like here is kind of two option concurrency and provision concurrency. So first we will discuss this provision concurrency, concurrency. we will come come this to later. So what I will going to do is, okay so, so I will define provision concurrency here but for defining provision concurrency it requires like either alias or provision. So I will go back and publish a new version and then after publish it concurrency I will edit it and I will going to define 3 as the concurrency. So make sure like once this all done you will going to delete this. The reason being is there is a cost associated with it. So you can change you can check out the pricing as well on, on this on this page. So I will save it. Yeah so that is done. So what is going to happen is if your request came to this lambda function anytime it it already have three warm instances ready for you three ready three instances ready for you right 
so those three requests will be executed at the same time there will be no cold start time okay but if you receive more than that request let's say four requests five requests or any any number of requests any request after three will going to face that cold start problem okay so that is provision concurrency i think i hope you got it so that is one thing second thing is this concurrency what is this concurrency so from this concurrency what we are telling aws to only run this number of instances in the parallel okay so let us suppose we have thousands of requests coming on to this aws lambda and we only want to execute only four requests in the parallel else like other remaining requests we wanted to like we, we are not going to serve those requests we are kind of throttle that or we, we are going to reject that anyway we don't want to execute those requests so what we can do is we can define it as four here okay so i think now i will come here so what we have done is like let us suppose we have five requests coming first second third fourth fifth and we have three define we have like we have defined provision concurrency as three right so all those three requests are executed at the same time and there will be no cold start time right so we called it pre-warm fourth request will be executed by the aws lambda but obviously this fourth request have to face this cold start problem the reason being is only we have three 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 num number of provision concurrency right and if you see like uh, we have defined con concurrency as the four now if, if like fifth request is coming in the parallel as well so what aws will be going to do is aws just throttle throttle that request so aws will not create any new aws lambda function for that it is going to just throttle that throttle basically means reject that i, I think sort of okay so i hope it is clear if you have any question any doubt you can post out in the comment section and uh, uh, like if you have any feedback for me please please let me know i am really very happy to incorporate that as well okay thank you